once upon a time, there were ten suns on the sky. The blazing hot weather caused the villagers to suffer greatly. There was no water, and the crops were dying. Oh, so hot! Come on, it's so hot, man! Why is it so hot? <sighs> so hot. Yeah, I know. Are those lights? I can't see it. Those, those. Did you see that? Those. Oh, really? How many suns are there? How many suns? Ten? Oh my god, no one is so hot. It's very hot. Oh, what happened to this guy? Do you guys have any water left? No, I'm so thirsty. Sorry, we have no water left anymore. Right? Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you bringing anything water? Yeah. I'm so water left. Really? I think I need to call someone to save us. Oh, wait, give me a second. Jay 
was very pleased with Hoey and wanted to reward, to reward him with an elixir that granted him immortality. One day, Ho Yi had to go away from war. He asked Chang Er to keep the elixir till he returned. But Peng Meng, one of Ho Yi's students, discovered the existence of the elixir. Missing. I came back a hero. 
Why is so? Why is it here? Why is it empty? Where's my tongue? Where's my wife? Have you seen my wife? Have you seen my wife? Where's my wife? Who can tell me where's my wife? Where's my wife? Have you seen Tana? Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yes, I did. Uh, I saw two up to the moon, yeah. What? <laughs> what? How? Oh, I think she drank the mix. What? No! Don't be sad, don't be sad. You can find a little more. I saw the food, I saw the food. Yeah, good, good. Using his beloved wife, Hoi burned incense and food offerings to Chang Er. And the practice spread throughout China. Today, it is said that during the mid-autumn festival, Chang Er and Hoi are reunited.